Hey, what's up everybody? It is Kellen here from Start Your Systems and welcome back to another Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game gameplay video slash not gameplay video. Honestly, this is kind of just trial and error track making at its finest. We're going to go ahead and start with a brand new track. The track editor is a part of this game, something that has not been a part of many games in the past and that's kind of cool. Let's see. We'll just go ahead and do a standard indoor rectangular stadium. And we're going to build a track. We're going to build it. We're going to play it. We're going to show it off a little bit. And then I guess if it's decent enough, maybe I'll release it at the end of the video. And it's really pretty easy to build these tracks. They made it very easy for you to like set everything up, get it how you want to. And yeah, so let's go ahead and give it a good whirl here. Um, we'll go ahead and rotate this guy. Alright. So, we've got this thing. Giant. Probably doesn't need to be that big, huh? Um, let's do... Yeah, why not? We'll do th this one, maybe? Get as close to the edge of the stadium as I can get it. All right, do that. So, first section. We want to do, we'll start off with just a couple of doubles, I guess. Go jump, medium straight, jump, medium straight, jump, one more medium straight, and one more jump, and then back to the straights. Will I have enough room to do a super cross triple right here? Oh no, wait, no, I don't want to do that, because instead I want to do, let's do a U-turn here. Oh, don't even know where I am with the turns. Okay, so we're going to do a 180 bend. Then we'll put... So I saw someone do something kind of cool to try to make a whoop section. I'm going to try to do that. Well, I'll only do it for a longer whoop section, actually. I just totally blew my mind with my own version of a track here. I was doing the completely wrong thing that I was supposed to do. I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, so let's just go ahead and do this, and then we'll go to Supercross Triple. Somewhere. It's in the jumps, I know. Um, this one, I guess? The taller one? Or, let's do the shorter one. Why can't I do that there? Why you no let me? Do I need to turn away from the wall a little bit? Am I too close to the wall? It looks like it's going towards the wall, right? So let's do a little slight turn away from the wall. And then... Actually, let's do... Quickly. Small straightaway. And triple. Bam. Bam. Now, corner. And to make it feel semi-realistic here, first of all, I'll put a straight. Then I'm going to put a nice tall jump. And then an over-under bridge, because how are they supposed to get to the start line if there's no bridge there? that it's kind of making this like a sweeper all right and then we're gonna do a small a little more 30 degree bend 
Then we'll do a whoop section. So, we'll have a medium straight. We'll have a high whoop. And then we're going to do big jumps. I'm going to see if this works. It might not, but we'll try it. Mm. Then we'll do a U-turn. U-turn. Short straight away. Then we'll start building a cool little rhythm section here. So let's do your standard three foot jump table for the on off. Oop. Three foot jump. A small straight, small straight. And then five foot, five foot, five foot. I'll put a little whoop whoop right here then we're gonna go to corners and put a 90 that I want to flip there we go oh wait actually go back let's go need to get that whoop back in so put a little whoop then we're going to have a quick little straightaway here. Actually, that might be one too far. All right, back to the corners. And we're going to go a touch further than a 90. We're going to go 150 bend here. Uh, actually, I think I can make that work. I'll do a 90 rise corner. And I'll do straights across. Back it up. Right, right to the edge here, and then another 90. Well, I have enough room, or is it? Yeah, I have a feeling. Oh, how is that? Or is it just because I'm still on the start straight? Small straight. Yeah, now it shows us completely across the start straight. 90 degree turn. There we go. Actually, cancel. Go 75 degree turn. Flip. So we want to do medium straight, followed by a 15 degree bend. Nah. Do two medium straights, then the 15 degree bend keep getting lost in within myself here then we will do hmm, what do I want to do let's go down to the triple jumps down here but we do double tabletop two singles and then we will make a Will it allow us to just build a straight 180 out onto the start straight? No, it will not. Oh, it's not going to let me do this, huh? Because I want to go... Shoot. Built myself into a corner. Hmm. What do I want to do? I know. I will cancel this stuff out. Cancel that out. Instead... I'm going to put a full 180 right here. I have a short straight coming out of it, a couple short straights. Then, I'm going to put our trusty double tabletop here. Then go back to this. No, I keep getting lost. Two short straights, a three foot jump, another two short straights. Another three foot jump, two more short straights, and one final three foot jump, and then we're gonna do what I th hope will work. So we have a U turn here. Uh, 
We're gonna have a medium straight, but then we're gonna kink like that. Then back to the straights. Oh, why doesn't it let me do that? Can you only go straight across or what? Hmm. If I just go straight. That's so weird. Why wouldn't I be able to go backwards down the start straight? Huh. I'm intrigued now. Alright, so let's back it out. Gonna end this guy on a couple low whoops. Medium straight. And a 90 degree raised corner. Small jump on the inside. Yeah, we'll be able to fit a jump there. Okay, so then we go straight, straight, straight. Like that. Then, I'm going to do a cheeky 180 degree corner. Straight, straight. Straight, 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 straight. Straight. Oops. Corners. Oh, yeah, why won't it let me do that? What do you mean? That was weird. I had to do a 30, then a 60. That corner is going to be all kinds of messed up. Let's just do Let's go back to corners here. Do a 15 degree bend. Then we're going to do a finish line jump. But first, we're going to do quick straightaway. Quick other straightaway so you actually have the speed to clear it. What's the difference? Forgot you can change the camera. There's that steepness. Put a long straight. Then a landing. Are oh, we running out of room here? Yeah, so let's cancel the long straight. The 15 kink will go that way. And that way. Medium straight. Where are my jumps? Man, why you gotta do this to me? Alright, so back it up, back it up, back it up. We'll come out of this corner. We'll go medium straight. Followed by a small little kink. A medium straight. Finish line like that. Long straight. Where are the jumps? Uh, that's, there we go. So we're going to finish line landing. That jumps too far, isn't it? Alright, so let's do instead a medium straight followed by a large landing. Then a kink. A kink and straight away. Is that not going to work? Maybe do one more kink. Kink. Then straight away, straight away. All right, so now the track seems to be finished. So can I play it? Let's try it out. I tried to make a track last night, didn't seem to go as planned. This one is going a little bit better, although 
I seem to be quite the idiot when it comes to actually building the track. But at least you guys are getting a good idea of the editor tools to delete something. You hit the cancel key, which on mine is circle, or the back key, which would be B, or probably backspace on a keyboard. All right. I got this nice long straightaway into a uh, sweeping first corner. We got a double, double, and a super cross triple that I can't clear apparently. Then the over under bridge. Through the corners and then into the huge whoops. Like you can kind of treat them like whoops, they're giant, but you can kind of do it. Over table, triple, into the whoops. Oh boy. Jump in the tough blocks there. Nice. This isn't that bad of a track. Oh, that finish line jumps a touch small, but oh well. So it's pretty straightforward. It's not terribly technical, but at least it gives you an idea of how the track editor works and such. I like this idea for the whoops though. I'm glad that I saw that somewhere. Because then it feels like you're actually going through whoops. I mean, they're, they're entirely too big, of course, but the other one, it was like you could, you could seriously just go over the whoops and they're not even there. All right, I'm gonna do one more lap on this cool track and I don't know, I feel like this is a fairly complete track. It might not be the worst idea to package it up and try to release it. I don't know how to do that, but I guess we could figure out together, right? Can you triple in right here? No, a little too far. But sets you up nicely for that super cross triple to do that. All right, let's get a better drive at the whoops this time. There we go. Like I said, entirely too big, but it seems like it works if you do it that way. Kind of a unique rhythm section. It's a short track, it's not the world's longest track, and I, I probably could use the floor space better, but I don't know, it's a track, it, it works, why not? I think this is pretty unique. I, I like this aspect of the game, that you can use a track editor to create cool tracks like this. Something different. Use the top of the uh, over under to go on off a little bit. That is so cool that you can do that with a whoop section like that. That makes the whoops feel a lot more realistic than what you play <laughs> in the game, which is <laughs> the whoops don't really affect much of anything. You just kind of go over them like they're a straightaway. All right, so that's cool. Let's go ahead and return to track editor. And I'm gonna just really quickly see if I can kind of figure out how to package this up so you guys can at least see that aspect of it. My next step with this whole track editor thing is to actually sit down and do like a live stream of building one of these tracks so we could get the fans to have a little input. I think that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, unique track, why not? So let's validate it, I guess which I just pressed triangle, so I don't know what's happening right now. Waiting to see what happens to the track. Gonna see if it even works. How cool is it though that there's a track editor in this game? I think the last one that was kind of similar to this that I can think of was MTX Moto Tracks. Um, obviously Sim and, oh. Validation in progress, okay. So like Sim and uh, what are the other ones? Um, MX versus ATV Unleashed. MX Unleashed, I think. I don't think Untamed had it. And then obviously Reflex. They all have like ways of making tracks, but there wasn't really like a track editor in the game. <laughs> it seems so confused. Like, oh, am I supposed to treat these as whoops? Because they're basically just doubles. So they're testing, I guess, to see if the track is proper enough or not. I feel like he's riding the track pretty well. Not doing too bad of a job, if I do say so myself. 
Track validated, cool. Are you sure you want to upload this track online? Yes. Enter track name, max 15 characters. We'll go with S Y S space fun zone. Nice. And confirm. So you apparently unsuccessful. Do you want to try again? Why would it be unsuccessful? Don't tell me that. Oh, come on. Come on. Wow. Why you got to do that to me? Unsuccessful business. I'll try to get that figured out and maybe get this track uploaded so you guys can also play it. I'm going to try to figure out first how to save it, and then I'll leave you guys for the day as you guys have now seen how track editor works. Um, so I want to go to menu. Save track. Okay. Empty slot. So again, we'll name this, uh, whoops, press the wrong button. S Y S fun. Whoops. We want to do a space and we want to do fun space zone. Cool beans. Confirm. And it's going to save that track now. And there it is. And all it's mighty, I can come back in, load it up anytime I want. So thank you guys for watching my first ever track build in Monster Energy Supercross the game. Plenty more where that came from. And I'll try to get this track uploaded onto the PlayStation Network so any PS4 players can play it. I don't know if it's going to be available anywhere else. But at least you guys will be able to check it out. And yeah, this has been another video. Monster Energy Supercross the game right here on Start Your Systems. If you guys liked it, please like and subscribe and comment. Let us know your thoughts and opinions on this track editor and what else we should do. But I'll see you guys in any future videos we do on the channel. I'm Kellen, and I'll see you guys next one. So long for now.